Hi everyone. In this video, I would like to talk about a feature on the storefront server. So before I give a few details about the feature on the storefront server, whenever you're trying to log into the storefront server, you, if you see here, it asks for username and password. Next to the username, if you see here, it says domain backward slash user or user at the rate of domain.com. So every time, when user tries to log into the storefront server, user needs to enter domain first, followed by the username and the password. Uh, this looks good, but uh, if the user has to enter the domain name again and again while logging into the storefront server, this could be a little bit tedious and uh, it could be stressful as well if many users are trying to log into the storefront server. This could be tedious and also we should not uh, display the domain information on the storefront page because of the security reasons, especially when the user is trying to connect from an external network. It could be from house or a coffee shop or at the airport. Uh, it is not recommended to uh, have this uh, domain information revealed on the main storefront page. So as a Citrix administrator, what you can do is you can uh, make this user just enter the username and the password without putting the domain name. So I will, I will show that in a minute how we can do it. So now let's go to storefront console. So on the storefront console, you see an option called manage authentication methods. Click on it. So when you click on it, you see you see this method called username and password you have to click on settings and there is an option called configure trusted domains click on it so once you click on it you have to select this option trusted domains only and click on add and enter the domain information here whatever domain you have you have to enter the domain information here click ok and click ok and click OK once again. Now what happens is when user tries to log into the storefront server next time, it should not ask for the domain information. It should straight away ask for the username and the password to log into the storefront server. So we will check that in a minute. Once these settings are applied, we can just test it. Okay, seems like the settings have been saved. Okay, if you see here, if you see here, it is asking for domain backward slash user or user at the rate of domain.com. So right now we have made some settings. Now let us refresh the page and see how it goes. Now we should not ask for domain information. It should straight away ask for the username and password. Okay. All right. If you see now, next to the username, it is not asking for the domain information. It is just asking for the username. That's it. The user can now just type administrator or user can just type, let's say Citrix user. Okay. And user can just enter the password as well. So I will show that in a minute. I'll just try to log in and show. Okay, now I'm not entering the domain information. I'm just putting my username and the password and trying to log in. All right, I logged in successfully this time and it did not ask for the domain name. So I hope you find this uh, information helpful. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. Thank you very much.